Hello YouTube, this is Zhawk1. They I am the sole developer of the game Laria and I've been thinking about it for a while. And the thing I've been thinking about is, you know, I used to be like you all and I used to, you know, be wondering, oh, how do I create my own games? How do I do this or that, you know? I would like it if someone actually went through an in-depth tutorial on how to design a Java game. Because I've looked myself and there really is a lack of good Java game development tutorials. Well, look no further. I am actually going to do a few tutorials. And although these tutorials are going to be very slow paced, and the reason they're going to be slow paced is because this is my family computer and I do not have the ability to create tutorials often due to my um due to the lack of the fact that I am in my family computer using my family computer. There yet is definitely going strong. I'm adding a lot of new features daily and there's a few things I want to mention before I go into tutorials. First thing I'm using Eclipse. If you cannot see that right here then well I'm sorry, you really need to get some seeing aids. Anyways I'm using the Java IDE Eclipse and I expect you to have a good understanding of how to use Java and how to use Eclipse. If you do not know how to um, program using Java or if you do not know how to use Eclipse, I recommend you follow the new Boston's tutorials. And he's a great, um, he teaches Java and he does a great job of doing it. He doesn't go into game development or anything. But, um, yeah, let's get started. A few things I have to say about Laria first, though. Um, I'm actually going to kind of slow down a little bit on Laria. And you might be thinking, oh, you're lazy, oh, come on, work hard, blah, blah, blah. There's a reason why I'm going to be working uh, less and less on it. And that's because I picked up the book um, C++ for Dummies. And I'm actually going to be learning C++ in the following um, few weeks, months, however long it takes me to learn this. And you might be thundering, wondering, okay, why would you suddenly start to learn C++ in the middle of creating a game? I plan on putting this to C++ in the future. Now, I don't know how most of you will think of this, but, um, I mean, yeah, I do plan on porting C, uh, my game Laria to C++ so that it can run faster, but also so I can be more experienced in C++. If the community thinks that this is a bad idea, then, you know, I'll quit, but... Anyways, I hope that once I learn how to use C++, I'm going to delve into the Unreal Engine, and I'm installing it right now. I don't know if you could see. Anyways, I hope to um, be able to use it and create more awesome games that are, you know, more professional looking. Right now, I'm a one-man team. I again told you I do plan on staying this way. And, well, I'm s if you have a problem with that, I'm sorry, but um, hey, it's just the way I roll. Anyways, so... Enough of that, let's start with um, creating a Laria type game. I'm actually going to be making a game, if I had not mentioned this before, like my current game Laria. You, I will um, be covering things like a uh, random terrain generator and um, player movement. I'm going to be covering basically some of those um, key aspects that Laria has in it. Um, one last thing before I completely get started is... Um, if you all want to, um, I don't know, just tell me, would you buy this game? I mean, what I mean by that is, would you buy this game for a price? I know it's in pre, um, it's not in, um, full development yet, it's in, in dev, if you want to call it that, that's kind of what Notch used. It's an in dev. Would you guys actually buy this game for a price? I'm thinking $10 for the full game. Would you, I mean, I, you're the community. I want this to be mostly a community driven project. Would you guys buy it for $10 or not? Leave that in the comment section. Um, one last thing is if I were to make a website, actually, we're developing hard on this website. I've hired someone else to do that for me. If there was a donation button on that website, would you actually donate? Um, just a few things I'm asking you because, uh, you know, it, it really helps me as any developer to know what my community wants. Just exit out of those things because, um, to allow, uh, it, it's just easier because I'm using a small screen. I don't have a good, uh, recorder. Anyways, you know what? Enough chit chat. Let's just, um, begin programming this game. So, first thing you'll notice, Laria clone, source, new, 
Again, I expect you guys know how to use Eclipse. I really don't have the time to go through this with you. Class. Sorry for that. Um, Alright, hold on. Class. We're going to name the class file um, frame. And you might be wondering, okay, what is this going to do? Frame is the basic... Uh, it's going to be the main class. It's going to be our main class that will run and where the program begins. Again, if you don't understand, uh, you know, Java and stuff like that, then you really should not be following these tutorials because, as I said, I'm kind of going to go through fast with this because I don't have the time to explain everything. So, um, we're going to create our main method, right? And for those um, newbies that don't understand, the main method, what it does, is it basically tells Java where to begin a program. Now, um, we actually have to import a few things. And I have a few, I have to show you something. We run our program, and nothing happens. You know, we want something to show up at the least. Our game can't be a game without a frame. So we're going to import a library that will allow us, and this is all standard Java. I'm not using anything besides the standard G JDK. Um, so we're going to import Swing, and Swing is a custom GUI builder. So we have Swing, and let's start making a GUI. You could start with JFrame, let's just call it Frame, and new JFrame. We're creating a new object, and let's set the title to Laria Clone. Now, um, our title is JFrame, hold on. Um, let me just pause that real fast. Oh, sorry for um, pausing out of there for no reason. Anyway, let's just continue the tutorial. Hopefully, I'll go really fast with this. J frame. Now, okay, so, so far we have our frame. Let's set that frame to a size. So let's say frame dot set size. And we're only going to um, use this one. We're only going to do basic GUI stuff. I don't understand GUIs that much either. So we're going to do 1000. And this is the height and width that I set for my Laria game. So I hit run, and oh, still doesn't do anything. What's up with that? You have to make it visible. So we could do set visible true. And one last thing before we finish it, let's do frame dot um, set default close operation zero zero. And what this is going to do is so, I mean, you don't have to understand it just yet. So we have our frame, right? Exit. And you see that it doesn't exit out just yet. And actually, hold on. Let's set this to 1. Okay. Have our frame. Exit. And you see it's still running. Okay, hold on. I'm so sorry for this. Hold on. Um, 2. Um, nope, still running. Nope, it terminated. Okay, so you can see when you click two, and we, we might set resizable to false. In fact, let me just try three. I'm, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm not that great with GUIs. Three, exit, terminates. That's exactly what we want. You can also set frame dot set resizable, and we're going to set a Boolean value of false. And this should be self-explanatory. So, um, yeah, yeah, okay, done. You can't resize it, you can't do anything. Let's add a new um, class, and let's name this class board. This is going to be where the um, Java draws to the screen. And let's just make it extends JPanel. And you might be wondering, okay, what does this do? Um, this is actually another part of Swing. And what Swing, as I said, Swing is a GUI builder. And a JPanel is just one of the many wonderful things that Swing has. And um, class board, um, there's an error. Just add a false serial version ID. Or actually, you know what? I, I lied to you. Just um, as a press warnings. I, I don't know. I just don't like seeing warnings. If Dominic asks us to play, say no. 
Um, we're going to add a constructor. And again, you don't know what a constructor is, you should not be watching these videos. Public, because we're going to be using constructors a lot. Like, honestly, constructors are part of a game. But, um, you know, actually, I don't even know what I was going to say. And actually, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to open up another, because, I mean, although I could start try telling you from scratch, I think it's easier if I just use one of my, you know, here. Okay, so we're going. I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be explaining to you this more in depth. This is the actual board class from the main Laria game. So frame. I'm going to also import that from the real Laria game, just so I you know know what I'm doing. Make sure I've added everything. Um, one last thing you can do with frame is you can set the location. So let's frame dot set location. 200 and 200. Let's run it. Okay. And it. There we go. It starts right there. You could even probably set visible after so you don't have some type of lag and it, it does actually kind of make a difference. So there you go. That's your real quick tutorial on making a simple frame. And we're going to be making images and stuff a little later. So until then, see you later.